Yep. <laughs> this cat lands on bank. And yes, we're here to make a fantastic video showing you how good I am fishing. Second cast last on bank. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two casts on bank. <laughs> oh Jesus. It's a little bit rusty. Right, Shh. serious head on now. We're off perch fishing. <laughs> we need to catch a perch at some point on this perch fishing video. Uh, so, part three of my showing you how not to catch perch on ca canals. We decided not to go back to this same bit of canal. And it was roughly three weeks-ish since I made those last two videos on the, on the canal. Showing you how tough it is sometimes. So today I've come another bit of canal and I've done I think it was a TRD video and probably a couple of others on this spot before and you know bagged up it was a couple of years ago but I thought we'll come back and I'm going to try and be mobile I've, I've got two methods I'm going smaller and I'm going mobile at the minute so you would expect so we've got a little knock or something by now and a little bridge spot like this you know you're hoping nobody's been fishing it. Someone's magnet fished it, there's a lot of rubbish on the bottom. On the bottom there. But a spot like this, a small perch should be here somewhere. So years and years ago when perch fishing was simple, I would never have dreamed of fishing a, a little bit small. Three gram jig head, tiny tiny shad, just because perch fishing was so much easier. There was no need to scale down and do silly things because you would still catch, even those, you know, this sort of size perch, you'd still catch them on two inch shads. And I usually just mostly fish a two and a half inch copper toe. But these days, it seems like everybody's fishing, and even that, which should have bagged up. I'm struggling to catch. At least around where I fish. As you've probably just noticed, I've got my little BFS set up. Fun setups, but I won't admit to being the best on this BFS setup. But it's not the easiest. They're not the easiest things to fish with. You know, I cast be casting twice, three times as far with my other spinning outfit, fixed pull reel. More accurately. I mean, it's fine if you're fishing open water and you're not trying to get anywhere in particular, but unless you're perfectly set up with these brakes and things, they're <laughs> not the easiest thing. And I'm well aware there'll be some Chinese, some little Japanese kid somewhere who can just, who's about six year old, who can just whip it under a bush. A few little grasses and things here, and they always just be perched here. Always. That far side with corrugated. I'm not spending two hours at this spot. Unless it's full of fish. I need to go find some fish. Fishing time's short, like I say. Since those um, perch videos, sorry, those canal videos, I can't sort of call them perch videos. Since those canal videos, I think I've been fishing once with Neil, trout fishing, where we had a few fish, but it wasn't spectacular. And I don't think I've been anywhere else on. Brilliant. So again, need to find some fish. Nice enough day. A little bit cool, a little bit overcast, it keeps raining every now and again. Every now and again it rains. Oh, oh 
of fish. Don't tell me I've caught a perch on a canal fishing video. Yeah, little perch. We finally made it. I dropped off. I touched it. <laughs> I actually touched it. <laughs> I actually touched it. So, let me try and think of some things that I might have missed on my previous videos. So, we are, we are post-spawn. Post-spawn perch fishing is usually a lot more difficult than pre-spawn. And I'm talking the bigger fish, the, you know, the two pounders, the three pounders, what, which are the prize fish. They are a bit more difficult to catch this time of year. We tend to go off the boil. If you can catch them when that cold winter disappears and it starts to warm up a little bit, they start moving to the spawning areas, wherever that is, and they get a little bit aggressive. They take, they take big pike loads for a start. They get a little bit more aggressive, and they chase most things, and they are a lot easier to catch. So I fish those kind of spots, and I'm probably a bit guilty that I don't give perch enough time. It, when it's those right times that you, I'm probably still pike fishing. Well, this time of year. It tends to be a little bit slow and steady on the canals. Now, let me oh, bump. Let me think about my my own Facebook feed. And who's who's catching fish, big fish, consistently. Now, if you went back five years, ten years, whilst it would have been a little bit more secretive, the guys catching, the guys that weren't. holding everything back and, and we're happy to publish the, the catches, at least showing a fish. We're catching quite a lot of two pounders, three pounders, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And you could probably, on my own Facebook, you could probably pick out 10, 20 different guys catching nice fish constantly, you know, and, and then you go, let's say five or six years ago when lure angling got popular because, some of it, because of these guys were catching a lot of fish. Myself included, a lot of nice perch, when it were easy. Um, you could probably, like I say, easy 10, 20 anglers, you know. Don't really want to name names, but I might do, I might do a couple. So these days, admittedly I'm not on Facebook that much, there's not that many people catching big perch, consistently. You know, you get the odd fish, pops up, somebody catches one, we're always going to show up. There's not many, there's a, like I said, there's a couple of guys that keep it you keep it to yourself, that's that's a definite. Especially when everybody's fishing them spots. I don't want to tell them about fish are there. But um there's a lad over Manchester way. He constantly catches big perch. Ah you small fish. He constantly catches big perch. Every week he's catching big perch. Probably got a few good spots that he fishes. Luckily, probably fishes them to himself. Uh, and there's another, another lad who, well, came to me, came to Sweden with, with us one on one of the trips, doing really well in the low fishing championships and matches at the minute. He's been catching a few perch, probably not as a Manchester, not as many as a Manchester lad. Um, but I can't think of anybody else. There's odd fish pops up, that consistent big fish catchers seem to be a lot rarer now so yeah don't don't think it's it's all easy now even the even the superstar anglers me included are not going around catching big fish all the time i'm guilty of not fishing the right areas at the right time enough i've lost that i've lost that ability to get up early and fish late and all that kind of stuff and go in it whenever whenever I can. I've lost all that ability and I've also lost that drive to look to go look at me. I'm now sponsored by insert company name here. You get an odd little little touch here, at least it gives you a bit more a bit more um sense of a fish or two, but I think I had one fish, is it two knocks? Again they're only small perch, but at least you feel like you're gonna be catching something. You know the previous spot where we've caught that's that's done nice fishing past 
and I'm sure there's some there, but it just feels like hard work if you're fishing there at the minute. It feels like you're just, you're only fishing for that big fish there. And I, 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 some, I used to fish places where I knew big fish were there, but there was still a bonus, there was still that added enjoyment. Whereas at the minute, you're fishing those kind of spots just on that, like, that last lock gates, and you, you know, you're dragging a low slowly across the bottom hoping for a big perch to take it and it just feels a little bit feels a little bit like you're either you're winning or you've just mis failed miserably because you're not catching anything and I think I prefer to do this a minute just go fishing you know you might walk down here and catch a, a bonus little jack a few, few perch and it feels a little bit more enjoyment for me oh by the way because there's no wind today, I've not got the mic fancy microphone on. So hopefully my audio is okay. And I've also chest mounted it, just because as it starts to get a bit warmer and, you, and you're walking about, it does me head in. <laughs> Literally it does me head in. GoPro sat on my head. So I've got my chest mount on. I hardly use chest mount, but... So let me know your thoughts. If you don't like chest mount, tell me and I'll go back to head, head, count, head cam, but... Hopefully I won't miss footage, I've got to try and remember to point my chest towards it. Let me know in the comments below if you've been um, if you've been out since those two canal fishing videos. Let me know if you've if it's helped you, if you've caught any fish from it, or if you've just give you a bit more confidence. You can see other people like myself struggling as well. I'm counting down my days for the rivers opening. Not because rivers are easy. Just because rivers are a bit more fun to fish, you know, you got you have flowing water, you have bends and fast water, slow water, bushes, you know, loads of little features you can fish towards. And on a canal, it gets a bit boring. Look at that! I've got a big bend down there. That's it. I've got a bridge up there. That's it. <laughs> I've got some. Yeah, I've got the corrugated on the far side. I've got the near side shallow ledge. I've got some grasses. Yep, of course, there's a few features. Just a bit boring. Yeah, just jiggling around these sort of little spots here, just under all these near side veg. You know, in them grasses are usually sat in there and you can work your low through. Give all those a try. <laughs> it just seems like everywhere you try is just devoid of fish. What else can we do? Imagine rock shot in this kind of place, it'd take you forever. Right, as you can see, I've moved swims. I've also changed setups. I've got my fixed spool because I much prefer fishing with my light fixed spool. It started raining. Uh, and I've moved spots just because I didn't have a drink and I would. I needed a drink, so I had to go to the shop. So I'm not far from home. So I thought, well, we'll carry on with this video on this bit of canal, see what we can find. Not fished this canal for ages. It's in a long, long time. And it's raining all over the coat in car. Fantastic. It's raining. Fantastic. Right. Not that I'm a pussy at out, but I don't want to get my camera wet, obviously. So, I'm hiding under a bridge till that rain goes. Slightly bigger shadow. Chartreuse screen, nice and bright. Trying if I can get a few bumps, find a few fish, it's not visible. Look for them to see and chase, hopefully.
No. No. Oh, bugger off, Ren. Seriously. Rain, rain, rain. Holy smokes. Ah, you want a fish? Yes. Yes. <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny. Oof! <laughs> what that? What that? Oh. What the hell was that? Hello, was there, take it. It's gotta be perch, surely. Got small, I suppose. Got small of those. It's got to be perch. That's a fish. Finally, I can see him taking. Oh, it's a pike. <laughs> it's a pike. Pike, no, it shouldn't be perch. No. It's supposed to be perch. <laughs> let go, let go, let go. <laughs> Cheers, kid. It's bloody raining again. Wet through now. Well, we're up in that little perch and it's pike. Little baby pike. So if that's the case, I shall make my way back this way. So I can find some perch. Cause I'm gonna get wet through. Oh my god! Oh, is that perch? Please be perch. It's too tempting. Unless it's just another little jack.
Hey, what a fish. That's perch. They're on surface. Let me try and see what else I've got in the box. That's perch. I just got smacked by something. And then I just seen, I actually saw that fish. That were a perch. What else I've got in my box? Something looks a little bit more fry like. Since the smashing fry. What have we got? What shall we go for? I've got these little. Little ones. Put them on. Let's try that. <laughs> Desperate I am to catch a perch. <laughs> Desperation. Keep it up near the top because they're actually chasing up near the top, so keep my lower up surface, up near the surface. Come on, fish. Little tap. Oh, little tap. Come on, take it. Those are small enough. Definitely small enough for even them perch. That's a fish. What the hell? Must be a pike. Yeah, pikey, pikey, pike. It's sideways up, no, that's not good. It's hooked in the, in the body. It's swiped it in. That's not good. Right. I'm looking up to. I'll lift my neck and car in the coat. That's what it looks like. I'm going down here. Come on, kid. That was a reach. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Oh, no. I could not say. That's a fish. Oh, it's off. That was a bloody perch as well, Paul. Nay. That was actually a perch. Might put a smaller lure on. I've got quite a big hook on this lure boat. I've got wrong, wrong jig head. Probably the reason why I didn't land that fish. This is a spot where I actually caught the prettiest perch I've ever caught. It was absolutely super, super green. Greenest green you've ever seen on a perch. I never actually caught a picture because I was actually bagging up at the time and somebody came walking past and me being top secretive. This is back in the day, didn't want people to know what I was fishing. So I never got a picture of it. I don't think I was YouTubing in those days either. But 
an absolutely stunning green. And can you see that? My fat comes out on film. That blob on surface. There's something, some oily residue coming up. That's a fish. That's a perch. I actually reported that about seven years ago to the Environment Agency and actually told them that it was leaking. That's a perch, by the way. I told them it was leaking and I told up, up there, all the way down here. And I told them it was leaking into the river as well. I told them I've got videos and obviously they didn't give a shit because one, they didn't ask me for from the videos, and two, it still leaks. I bet if I went to the river now, it'd still be there. Piss poor, environment agency, don't give a shit. This place next to the canal, next to the canal here, is like a solvent recycling place. Strange, a bit ironic that we've got solvent recycling next to the canal and river that's leaking solvents. But who am I to judge? Thing is, if I ah, oh, that would have <laughs> been to feel like they're massive because you've not had a fish for ages. If I'm getting quite a few bumps like that, I'd be thinking there might be a few more perch, so I might try other methods. A minute. One perch and two bumps. That's the best spot I've fished for hours. Gotta be a pike. Never. Pikey, pikey. I'm gonna have to go around that side to unhook him. Why pike? And you're chasing perch. Little baby bike. Come on around here, kid. <laughs> oh, nearly fell off. I nearly fell off. Come on, little fella. <laughs> Come on, tiny fella. Monster. Not exactly a massive pike, but you can see there. A little bit of fraying on my on my trace on my fluorocarbon. So we'll just. Snip. Snip. Oh, there go. Let's tie again. I 
was giving new nuts a good yank and test because if you're not quite done it right that's when they'll slip and you've just tied it I'll give it a yank right let's try again There's some perch somewhere and get through all these pike perch on the surface eyes oh, up seagull pooing which was it seagull pooing right I've also got a fish around here so let's go back <sighs> Yeah, some again some small fry. Right in lot of gates. And perch coming up and nailing them. But they're a really tiny fry like three, four millimetres. Just change my camera angle. Baby. See how they're up in water chasing them perch. Yep, them pry. Cheese today. Don't drop me rod. Yeah, I'm Paul, you missed that. I just saw it take it. <laughs> it's tiny. It's not exactly crawly with perch, but there's a few here, small ones. At least it stopped raining. That's a fish. Yes. <laughs> That's a perch. It's a baby, but it's a perch. Little cutie. Cheers, lad. Yeah. 
unusual spot along a margin. Bit of a wall. Hopefully there's a few. Here up. No fishermen. So it's been uh, hard work. You see I'm covered quite a bit of canal again. A couple of spots. I mean how many how much of an awesome feature is all this bit that I've fished today. It's just not producing the fish. Like there can't just be one little perch living there. It can't be. Somebody's lying to me. Fancy a fish along this corrugated on this left up here. Just oil slicks all over the surface and you can pick it up on camera. Oil slicks all over. Yeah, it's, it'll be fine, you know what I mean? Environment agencies aren't bothered, you know what I mean? If they're not bothered, why should we be bothered? Why should we bother? I mean, it's just, it's just, just oil or something. You know what I mean? Some more perch, just on that corner edge. Taking off surface. Oh, I've got to go cast at them. I've got to go cast at them. I should be almost perfect. See my lure. See my lure. Actually, I'm in a good spot to show you all this, whatever it is, seeping up. Look at that. Look at that. Like I say, that's been going six years at least. That's when I first spotted it. Seven years or something, reported it. Anybody bothered? Still leaking. Nobody gives a shit. Oh, that's on banking. Oh no. Come on, perch. I can see this perch along this margin. I mean, why wouldn't they take in this oil slick? Why wouldn't they? Look at that. I mean, rusty barbed wire and some black tar. I fish all the best swims. Come on, little fishy. I just want a little fishy. Baby, baby. Oh, similar sort of size. Perches. Tiny, tiny fishes. At least I got stripes.
Hey, hey. Oh, it's Pike. I was going to say it was a perch. It's Mr. Pike. Mr. Pike, what you doing? It's little Jack. What are you doing, kid? Come on, Jack. Come on, kid. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. Oh, tip it back off here, I'm gonna fall in with the bag. My bag's going in if I don't let go. <sighs> Not the easiest thing when the banking slopes downhill. Time, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. Cheers, kid. Nice wound on that side. Don't flip. There you go, kid. Right, so a little bit more action in this video today, a few more fish, I've actually caught some perch. Uh, not so much talking, I've done a, little, done a little bit of talking obviously. I just tried to get cracked on with some fishing, just trying to find some fish and I think the big big thing I want to show you was, you know, if you're fishing your, your local spot and it's not working, this is actually my local spot by the way, I live about two minutes away. If you're um, you know, our local spot's not working, like part one and part two. Yeah, you can stick it at it, but then your fishing's not enjoyable because you're not catching much. Although I did catch a couple of pike each time, so I can't grumble. But, you know, get moving, get mobile and see if you can find somewhere else. Mix it up. Change where you're fishing. But change your scenery helps. It's in a bit of all sorts today. And uh, caught a few fish, like I said, nothing, nothing mega, but gives me a little bit of an idea to maybe come back with something slightly larger, a bigger chance. So I can catch, catch a few more jacks and pike, and uh, jacks and pike, a few more jacks and maybe even bigger perch. Try the old rip, trusty Rapala, little jerk baits, anything like that. See if I can get anything else out, see what else I can find. Um, yeah, not a bad little session to be honest, caught a few fish, been out quite a while, got wet through and dried out and got wet through again. At least you're fishing some features on this bit of, bit of canal and you, you feel like you've always got a chance. I'll tell you now, it used to be awesome this canal, when it was top secret and people didn't know about it. Guarantee you can catch plenty of plenty of perch. I'm still fishing this canal, obviously. Just a bit tougher to catch. Yeah, it used to be it used to be great. It used to be my little secret hideaway. Have you really used to low fish it? Yeah, the few guys, old guys, fishing with pole. And I actually used to keep away from them as well, so they didn't keep seeing me catching. And I just it's been my little, my little secret. I didn't fish it much. I didn't fish it much at all, to be honest. I bet once a month, if, if you were lucky, maybe even not that much. But um, you could always guarantee a fish now. Like I say, everybody's coming fishing. So you can't always guarantee as many fish, but. That's fishing, so yeah. Cheers for watching as usual, hope you're catching a few. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Leave a comment. Smoke me a kipper and all that lot. And I shall uh, see you again. Cheers for watching. Bye.